Polygon is one of my favorite tokens. I've been holding it for years. Even at times when market is bearish, Polygon seems to hold really strong. But on this recent crash, it was going down all the way to 30 cents per token roughly. Did I sell? No, because I had conviction. I did a couple of videos about it because I was bullish and still am about Matic and not only that, showing you how you could easily yield farm it with two steps in a way that will be virtually no risk. There would be no impermanent loss and no exposure to other tokens. And now Matic is going up. And that goes to show if you have conviction, you hold. I wasn't really bothered when I saw the price going down because I had conviction holding the token. And this goes for every token out there in crypto. If you have conviction, you hold. And if it's a token that has utility and it's a blue chip, which is the case of Polygon, that should give you enough conviction for you to hold. Strong team, strong fundamentals, strong use case. Overall, Polygon is one of the best networks out there in my opinion, and they have been positioning themselves to integrate the real world assets narrative, which is one of the biggest narratives in crypto. That alone would give me already tremendous conviction about holding the token, but all of the other things that I mentioned, especially having a strong team and strong connections, strong partnerships being built throughout time with real world companies, those things all play together are what have led me to believe in a recovery for the token's price. Now this is the chart for the past year. We see an uptrend recently from the beginning of November until today. So basically for the past month, let's see for the past three months, how the token has been going. It has kept itself pretty much stable through September, October. And now from November onwards, we see just upside momentum from the token. If you know about yield farming and how to use that to generate passive income, this chart shows you how profitable it has been to yield farm Polygon or Matic for the past couple of months. The price has been chopping sideways anything in between 29 cents and on the upside we see 40 something cents, but that's the range you should be betting on. So if you had been setting up such range in liquidity pools, you are able to yield farm Matic for free although your capital is prone to the risk of impermanent loss. So don't get me wrong, everything has a cost in crypto and there's always going to be risk on top of any investment decision that you might do. But all of that Matic that you farmed in the meanwhile, although you might have suffered some impermanent loss on the way, it all just pays back when the price ramps up as it has been doing for the past month. Now this shows that there's some volatility right now in the markets, money is flowing in and potentially you will need to broaden your range for yield farming. But I believe right now we're just lagging up. So the previous floor of 30 cents, that's done. And if we look long term, I believe we can easily go back to prices of $1, $1.20, $1.40 even per token. That's something we saw previously back this year. We see here that on mid-March, March 15th, the price was over $1.20. I didn't saw this dip coming, gotta be honest, but I held because again, I had conviction. Now the price is going back to where it deserves and you can still earn some passive income with it. But that goes to show guys, for the months of April and May, you could have been yield farming Matic with a price range in between 60 to 80 cents. As the price goes down, we need to adjust that range. As you can see on screen, so we saw this big and fast dip that happened in mid-April and from there on the price kept slowly bleeding until the lowest dip that we could see at November the 5th. Now if you want to start yield farming Matic now you should proceed with having a wider range. I would start with a range that keeps generating income of course so anything in between 50 cents and 80 cents would be really good but 
I would say that a pretty safe place to start a range for yield farming with considered liquidity pools is anything in between 60 cents and 90 cents, even up to a dollar. That will probably give you some leeway to adjust as time goes by but if you are a complete beginner keep your ranges wider versus keeping them narrower because at the rate that the price has been going up you see it has been outperforming bitcoin and ethereum even so there's definitely bullish momentum and i think although we're seeing a little correction here for the past 24 hours this is nothing to worry about even for the past seven days we see that the momentum is still upwards and I think it's going to go up easily and probably set itself again around a dollar. But in the meanwhile, you can yield farm it. And I do think the price can easily go back to the dollar price range as it was back in February of this year. Who knows for how long, but I do think that Polygon or Matic is a token that can easily go to $5 per token. So if you're watching and thinking, is it too late? Of course not, it's not too late. Easily you can do 2x from this same position and I'm not even considering a medium to long time frame. In this bull run I think we can see Matic do 2x from now easily. Like I told you before in one of my other videos about Matic, this token has a lot of room for growth and that's what I like about blue chip assets. Instead of playing the meme coin game, I rather hold and buy more in times uh, where the price goes down, yield farm it even to generate that passive income or allow me to grow that Matic bag over time. And it's going to be a much smarter investment versus putting my money on a meme coin who knows how good or how bad it will go. Now, if you are watching and thinking, what can I do now? Yield farm, buy Polygon, hold it, hoping for price appreciation. Although this is not financial advice, I'm going to give you my honest thoughts. So if you buy and hold, it's going to be the easiest way and the, the more passive also. You can get to profit with Polygon. Probably in the first three, four months of 2025, we'll be back at $1.20 at least. So it's going to be 50 to 100% profit if you get in right now and in that mention time frame you can definitely get to hold and see it appreciate 50 percent if not double in price in the meanwhile so it's going to be pretty much a no-brainer in my opinion but again i said that before when it was down at 30 cents and right now it has doubled already so we are in the bull run so get ready if you want to yield farm, which you can also do, I'm going to give you a couple of options. For straight beginners, you can come here on markets and you see that there's a ton of markets, centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges that have Polygon. You can buy the token there. But yield farming requires for you to buy the token and after that you'll have to deposit into a liquidity pool. So if you're a complete beginner, you can do that easily as long as you already have some polygon in your wallet you can use a yield aggregator for example beefy finance this is one of the most well-known and reputable yield aggregators they source plenty of liquidity pools across multiple different blockchains they will show them on the menu you just pick from the list you start investing super simple and by the way while this loads check the description for related content i did already about beefy finance if you are completely new to the game, that will give you an understanding of how the platform works and how you can use filters so you can get to choose the options you are looking for. So here on Biffy, I just filtered everything to just show the Polygon PO. That's the network we're looking for opportunities at because that's where there will be the better options for us to yield farm with their native token Polygon or Wrapped Poly. That's what the W stands for here it's the same thing as matic they just rebranded so this is a concentrated liquidity pool on uniswap it's completely automated by beefy so it's going to be a hundred percent passive it's paying currently over one percent a day and we're talking about blue chip assets guys one percent a day even if it, this doesn't last for a month which would bring you 30 percent growth of your investment within one month simply but these are just insane apys 
they're probably going to tone down. These are just probably spikes on volume. But anyways, even if you can get 1% a day for a couple days, three days, five days, that's already going to be a win. And the beauty about yield farming is that you can move your liquidity in or out of pools at will. Although with this pair, it is paired with a stable coin, you can get some impermanent loss, but this will be passive. It's a concentrated liquidity pool. That's what CLM pool stands here. And whenever price goes out of range, Biffy automates the whole thing. Have in mind, there's risks because in the case of impermanent loss to happen, in the case of price going out of range, since this is designed to always go after price and after yields, keep generating some passive income, what's going to happen is that impermanent loss becomes permanent. Because in order to create new ranges, they will have to go out of the previous position and create a new one. So that's going to lock in impermanent loss. Impermanent becomes a permanent loss. The same thing goes for any other pool. Then we, keep, we can keep browsing through the list there's going to be other pairs here, link with wrapped Ethereum, link with stablecoins, and we have a, a great one here, wrapped poly paired with wrapped Ethereum. Why is it a great one? Because these are extremely correlated assets. This means that whenever price goes up, they both go up, usually. When price goes down, they both go down. So prices moves together, and when both tokens have the same type of performance, they won't diverge all that much in price, meaning that impairment loss will be not something that worries you all that much. And usually when you're talking about blue chip assets, this applies uh, around to all of them, including Bitcoin. So you, ha you have here a wrapped Bitcoin paired with wrapped poly, also paying really handsomely 0.3% a day for holding two blue chip assets. But always make sure to check with the correlation matrix. I'm going to show you how. Now, this is a matrix I mention often on my videos. If you're a complete beginner and never saw one of my videos, I believe this information will help you out a lot. So we get three time frames: one year, one month, and seven days. You can see the correlation or lack of correlation, which is when it shows red. The redder it is, the worse, and the lower it can get is minus one. So that's the worst case scenario. On the other end, the green, the best case scenario is one that's perfect correlation and you see that happening for example in the last month for polygon with ethereum remember what i said about their being extremely correlated that's because polygon is an ethereum layer 2 so usually what happens with ethereum's price also will reflect to polygon ethereum goes up polygon follows ethereum goes down the same thing happens and usually that also tends to be the case with Bitcoin, but for the past year, as we just saw in the beginning of the video, the chart wasn't looking all that much for the most of 2024 when it comes to Polygon. So the price went down while Bitcoin held its floor and even grew from there. So you see a negative correlation here. So for example, in the case that you would be holding some liquidity pool tokens, you had invested in a pool, a liquidity pool, that has Polygon and Bitcoin, you would be suffering impermanent loss. At least for the past year, for the past month, it's actually looking good. They have a, a really good correlation for the past month because Polygon has been recently going up in price. So you get the idea. You can use this correlations matrix to see for yourself if a pool is worth the risk or not. And from there on, you can check all of these pools having Matic or Polygon or some other token, you can apply that knowledge to choose any given pool. And in the case of the pools that have, for example, a stable token here, STT paired with Polygon. So for the past year, they are very close to zero. So it's not something that is impressive at by any means. The same thing happens for the past month and for the past seven days, actually, there's a lot of impermanent loss happening due to the sudden price appreciation of Polygon. That's because it's a volatile token and the stable coin always remains pegged to the dollar price. So you see, this is a good example that when prices do not move together, even if one goes up, you might experience impermanent loss and you see that your assets decrease in value. This is a great example because even in a bull run, this can happen 
and that's the case for the past seven days at least the thing is when you look at the chart and you see the price here chopping sideways as it did in between april and june or july and september october even you could be perfectly yield farming within these ranges and accumulating matic suddenly all the matic that you yield farmed when people traded the token now you have a big bag that just suddenly 2x in price important thing to mention because many people tend to compound it depends on the pool if you're looking at a pool that has a ton of impermanent loss compounding is not the way to go you need to grow that bag in order for at some point the profit that you took from the fees that will outweigh the potential risk that you are exposed when providing liquidity which is again in permanent loss but anyways there's also going to be other options if you want to dedicate more time into it and manage the position yourself you can use other tools to do so and in that case you will not be using beefy but for the sake of the video i will not make it too long if that's something that interests you and you want me to show you how let me know in the comments and also i'd love to know your thoughts about matic are you bullish on matic are you a fanboy like myself are, have you been holding it for quite a long time throughout the most of this year or even longer what is your price prediction for matic this is a token i'm holding for the long run and in the meanwhile i've been yield farming with a percentage of my bag so the end game for me is to get more matic tomorrow than i did last month or yesterday or last week that's the thing about yield farming market volatility can make you have some days on red but if you play it mid to long term and you set up your ranges wide enough you'll get plenty to profit from yield farming again check the description there's going to be links there that can help you out yield farming groups where you can get to learn the tricks of the trade for that i suggest the underdog investor group you can find the link below in the description gets you 20 percent off on your first month and i'm going to wrap this one up thank you for watching let me know your thoughts in the comments take care remember to take profits in this bull run and i'll see you on the next one